Is it camp? Um, good start. Good start. Not great start. Good start. You know, we got a lot of new faces. Um, I uh, been really good energy, I think, and I, I, I guess we're probably at that expectation level of where we are right now. We're still trying to teach them kind of all the logistical things of how we do it, right? How we practice and how we operate and the tempo with which we want to play. And you know, we we had some big. Uh, moments of emphasis yesterday in our meetings about some of just the practice expectations things making sure that we're meeting those and setting the standard high enough to get that done um i do think that we're a more athletic team and um, that's fun we are a competitive team that's fun preston's got good energy man it's, it's been fun with him and even kevin you know coming up behind him is doing a really nice job so um i cautiously optimistic we got to a good point here five days in had some good contact these last three days here, so give them a good week break, uh, and then we'll come back and, and uh, really kind of – I think we got a, a bunch of our offense in, so there, there won't be just tons of – it'll be a lot of review once we're back off the road um, and, and just kind of honing our skills and, and, and shaping our offense, seeing what it's going to become. Preston, uh, coming off the injury, what have you seen from him? And then Kevin, uh, just entering year two. Uh, so pr you really can't see – can't tell the difference in, in Preston's energy. I mean, I'm sorry – injury nor his energy for that matter but it was um he's come out here and been good man he's trying to take a leadership role first time that he's been in kind of that driver's seat you know since he was in high school and and uh he's got got his own way of operating you know it's a little different than tanner's was but just as effective and uh it's been fun watching him develop and so i, I think that he's um you know he's he's a He's a gym rat, you know. He's a ball junkie. He sh he'll show back up there and hang out for two hours with us this afternoon and and do all that. You know, he does a great job of absorbing information. He does a great job of asking questions, um, and he does a great job of of um, kind of interacting with his teammates at all different levels. So, been really pleased with him, his start so far. I mean, you know, he'll the execution piece will come. I think as we continue to push our offense and, and figure out where we want to go with it. But um, but I've been pleased with his start. Uh, really kind of encouraged by Kevin. You know, he's a little underweight right now with where we want to be, but he's just kind of now getting to that point where he understands, you know, what his expectations are from that standpoint and, and getting to that point. Now, you talk about a guy that's – the game has slowed down a lot for him and maybe was always naturally a little bit slow for him, which is good. You know what I mean? He really sees things, man, and he's a fearless guy, and he's got a rocket arm and kind of makes some off-balance throws that, you know, I think once Coach Brewer cleans that up, uh, one, it's – can be useful and two when we do clean it up boy and, and he's really stepping into his throws and doing some things he's going to be we are uh been really pleased with kevin's first five days every year is a new year but if there was one player that kind of built momentum from the end of last year this year maybe it's roger daniels a guy that was using multiple different ways what have you seen from him so far and just kind of the versatility that he can give you guys yeah junior's been an entirely different approach player kind of similar to what you're saying it's like he got kind of tired of maybe not doing everything we asked him to do and he boy he jumped right in and he's been doing it he's kind of it's like showing some leadership skills and he does that he's obviously i think there's been a recognition that he's a guy that that requires touches because he is so uh, dynamic with the ball you know in space with with different guys so i mean we had a jet that they bottled up over on us there there's definitely it was a minus two yard loss that he turned into a four yard gain you know i mean he's he's that kind of player that can really uh make yards out of, out of things that aren't there so i uh to your point, he's a guy that came in here with a different approach, different mindset, different leadership. You know, he's quieter than he was in a good way, kind of more stoic about it, maybe even than you know. And so, I uh, really excited about potentially what he could do with him. We've talked about getting into some personnel packages to increase his versatility. You know, put him in positions where maybe um, you know we can we can get him multiple touches in different ways. You know, from from different positions across the field. Offensive line, you know, you've got two pieces from the transfer portal that will be coming in. You know, Justin's not going right now. How are you kind of approaching it with that group that you've got that's being able to work, get some good work in, but also knowing that there are maybe some pieces that are starting pieces that are here? Yeah, um, you know, I, I'm i really excited about what our offensive line can become because we're pretty good right now without, you know, probably two or three more pieces that are coming in here that could be potential starters. Um, you, when you get Justin back and then – um, obviously, our two guys that are coming in, but I mean, I you know, you, what you get out of Cam Irvin and Ben Sparks are two guys that have been in this program for a long time, man, and they can start for us right now, you know, and I think we're confident with that and the development of that. So that's going to create great competition when these other guys get here. Um, excited about that. Hiron White's jumped in here. It's good to see him moving around again. And I, I mean, we get we feel really good about our two tackles. 
obviously. And so we're getting some of those uh, young guys work and kind of getting them out of there. I, I, I To your point, I think that, man, it, we're, 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 we feel pretty good right now, which means we feel really good when we get those guys on campus and we kind of create a little bit more um, of a competitive element and, and get those get the best guys that we can out there you know, on the field, that, that, that top five that Coach Justice is going to have. But for sure, we're going to feel great about, you know, probably eight, you know, or, or nine even. Um, so excited about that. One of the guys that you have to replace among the graduating seniors was at your position. Ben Redding did an awful lot for you. Um, RJ Maryland, though, got to the end zone six times. He only had 28 catches. Do you feel like you have to call his number more? And what have you seen from him? as far as his development and progress from a year ago. Yeah. So, one, we really are going to miss Ben. Ben was a great – you know, and obviously you saw the, the – lab when we lost him in the Houston game, boy, it was a different productivity group, you know, that was coming out of our room, I thought. And Gage Haskins stepped up and really helped us a lot. And, you know, we had Nolan Matthews and some of those guys were present, but it, it wasn't the same at that time, you know, for, for Ben. So that's been a big challenge for them, obviously, this spring, being able to fill that role and, and beyond. Um, RJ is a guy that has a unique skill set, uh, to your point. He's a guy that, you know, really, really dynamic in space and understands um, how to route run. He's a great blocker on the perimeter, does some things. You know, he's a guy that's 230 pounds now that we knew he would be, you know, when he got here last year. And I was like, man, wait till he's 230, you know. So now he's now he's there. And so he's starting to show some he's, – he's got a different mindset. I, I love his approach. He's got a real professional mindset um, about coming in here. He takes care of his business. You know, we challenge him on – specific things and and he's he's a he's a kid who likes to respond to those sort of things he likes small goals ahead of him so he can push towards that and, and he's pretty serious about doing the things that we need to do so um there's still a lot to develop you know i mean he was he was he was not prepared to be a, a every down blocker in our league last year we ended up getting forced into that role late in the season so that's something that obviously we've been working on um a lot this spring and matching that knowing he's going to be really good uh, at the at the perimeter piece, you know, because that's kind of where he was raised. But um, if we can get him there where he's operational in the box and he doesn't even have to be dominant, just operational with what it was, Ben Redding to a degree, you know, and then he's got obviously a unique skill set. Now now you've got a lot of versatility in your offense. So if we can find more guys like RJ to, to fill in and, and, you know, fill that role, then that will help us play faster and be more versatile on offense as well. Jordan Curley uh, added 10 pounds, maybe even 15 by now. Um, what have you seen from him and with this extra work that he kind of is finally getting in spring yeah, practice? Yeah, this him? is something Jordan's needed his entire career, you know, and I just the nature of the game has kind of put him in a disadvantage from that standpoint. But it's, man, he's just chest and shoulders and like all these things that you've really never seen on Jordan, right? Starting to show through, his shirts are tighter and all that, you know, he's freaking good looking dude. And he's, he's out there, he's working. Um, he's still got, you know, his, he's got incredibly dynamic speed. Um, so watching him develop and I, like to your point, I mean, just getting him out here for the first time uh, to be around our quarterbacks, be around the rest of our team, make sure that he's operating with our receivers and doing those things has, has been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. So he's a guy that's, you know, he's coming in to his last year of eligibility. And so I, it's time for him to be in a position where he can take on kind of that that alpha role maybe that, you know, that Rasheed left when he left. And, and so putting him in there, but I, it's invaluable. You know, springtime is invaluable for anybody, but particularly your first one, you know, and and particularly, particularly when it's your first one and you've been in college for four years, you know. So it's uh, it's uh it's been fun to watch him blossom. On the list of players that you wouldn't want to have a full speed and head start to block you, how high would Elijah Chapman? <laughs> Elijah's got a unique skill set, man. It's uh, he's certainly a guy that's he's compact and he's great. He's intentional about striking, and you know we were on. Uh, uh, he's probably the got the most potential blocking those kind of plays than any player that we've had since Jay Prosh on the national championship team in 2013. And so at Auburn, he ended up playing for the Texans for a number of years, you know. And he's just he's got kind of that old school fullbackiness to him that is um you can ask the defensive line probably better than you can ask me i know it don't look like it's fun when he comes across there which makes me happy so uh he'll add a unique component to our offense that i think allows us we wanted to be more of a downhill rush uh offense we really committed to making sure that we can't be sixth in the league anymore in rushing you know we got to get we got to push ourselves up there and do that so we're finding different ways to make sure that we can do that elijah's a guy that can 
that can add a unique component, like I said, to our run game. And so it's been fun. Obviously, he's still playing. You know, he's got to fulfill his D-line role. So in, in order for us to, you know, kind of work around that and make sure we're getting good reps out of it. But he's an old enough guy. He's mature enough at this point that he can handle what they're asking him to do on defense and then still uh, pick up and understand what it is that, that we, you know, in the specific ways we can use him offensively. With running backs, just Jalen and LJ, just kind of what are – some first impressions of, of seeing them out here and maybe adding a little something there that you yeah you know, I think there's like. some flash you know I, th- I think there's certainly some flash from both of them so it's both of them are uh, reckless effort guys which is awesome you know what I mean they are downhill and they are physical and they they've really brought an element of physicality that that maybe we hadn't had there but I mean Tyler's kind of his own unique version but this is kind of some explosive speed that's um, It's been fun to have them there, and they're competitive, and they're for each other, which has been fun. So they've shown some maturity from that standpoint, and and getting them out here and working, man, um, uh, it's it's we we, we've improved in that room, and and um, I'm I'm excited to watch. You know, when we get back from spring break, as these guys, as the mechanisms of our offense slow down in their head, and they're out there just kind of playing and not thinking, then I, I think it'll. We, we really got a chance to see how far they can go. You mentioned Tyler. Do you have an ETA or a schedule as to when he'll be through some more uh, rehab and ready to rejoin? Yeah, the summer, I think. I, I'm not. It was an original. It was a pretty significant uh, procedure that he went. You know that he underwent. I'm not sure when they'll. He won't be back this spring practice. But that's you know what. It, that's kind of protects him from himself because he's a reckless effort guy that would you know what I mean he'd come out here and hurt himself or somebody else. And so now we got a chance to. Keep him for like, hey man, let's, let's, we'll let you tackle in uh, August again, and and he won't need much uh, time to to recover and, and be ready for that. Is it crazy that Jackson Lavender could get playing time this year? He looks pretty good so far. Yeah, Jackson, it's been fun. You know, all those uh, high school guys. There's four of them that have been here too on defense. I know they can speak better to them. I on offensively, I've seen them show up. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like God dang, is that, that kid's a high school senior? You know, mm-hmm. running around here. Lav's kind of got a similar. Uh, dynamic man he's a gym rat like super gym rat he's here all the time right coach like can't get him to go home and so it's uh which is awesome man he knows what's going on he's super effort he's learning he's strange you can tell he's a coach's kid man it's important to him and uh and he's got some ability you know what i mean he can really run and he catches and he and he invests you know and so that investment is is uh Certainly going to show up for him. We'll see. You know, once we get to the most competitive point of our receiver room, exactly what that, how that will all shake out. But right now, man, he's right in the mix, and and all those guys in that room, uh, you know, respect him for it.